morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's date is 420. Yes, 420, guys. It is on a Tuesday, and it's about 627 p.m. right now in Brighton, Colorado. It was snowed. Now the sun is out. The snow is melting, but guys, I have a three-day trip. Again, my vacation ends on the 22nd. Your girl picked up trips. So, number one, guys, I am a background singer, okay? So, for this particular pairing, um, yeah, don't have a solo this time around. And I want to tell you about this trip. So, let's start. Denver to airport code IAH, going back to Houston. When I get to Houston tonight, I have a 12-hour and 59-minute layover. Day two is Houston to Denver. And then Denver to airport code DCA, which is Washington, D.C. And when I get to Washington, D.C., I have an 18-hour and 17-minute layover. And then day three, Washington, D.C., or DCA, back to Denver. So, again, because it's a day off, right? We're days off. Let's talk about the specs of this trip. So, guys, time away from base. Looks like it is 48 hours and 45 minutes, okay? Not bad. Credit hours, 13 hours and 30 minutes. And I got a little trip rig of an hour and two. So that's how I got to 1330. So again, this is all extra money on top of my vacation. So I discussed what we get paid for our vacation guys. And I have vacation actually in May. May 2nd, I believe, till the 8th, if I'm not mistaken, but yes. So right now I'm getting ready to leave. Um, my report time, I believe, is 7.30. I think that's what my check-in is. Let me just verify that for a second because I want to give you guys the right information. Yes, 19.30. So it's 7.30. So right now, guys, me and another crash pad mate are going to drive into the airport. He's going to drop me off and then park the car. But as you can see, it is a sunny day out here. So... This is a new wig I got on. I got this in Arizona, and guys, honestly, the other wig I had, the snow destroyed it. Synthetic hair and water don't mix, so I have, you know, I had to wear this. I did pre-flight it, so, you know, I like curly hair. It kind of frames my face, and you see I got green eyeshadow. Okay, eyebrows, ah, uh, not so bad. But you know, something tragic happened. Our crash pad dog, uh, Aqua, she passed away yesterday i love that dog she was in a few of my vlogs so when i came home last night i found out and i was so sad that i actually cried yeah it's really sad that she passed away and she was older i'm not sure of her age but yeah um so we got one that's left and i feel bad for the other dog but anyways uh everybody on a lighter note i'm gonna head to the airport right now so guys, I will be with you more than likely when I'm heading down the jet bridge. I did not, yeah, I didn't plan anything to eat. So this is going to be interesting this three day, but guys, you guys stay tuned. But yeah, I'm heading back to Houston today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, heading down the jet bridge. First leg is to Houston. So we are going to quickly board and we should be off. So guys, I'll see you when I get to Houston. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and I am back in my room. The local time right now in Houston is 1.42 a.m. I'll show you guys. All right, so the flight time from Denver back to Houston was an hour 47. We were on an old A320, so this is the aircraft that has 180. Passengers max capacity, 30 rows of seats. We were, I want to say three-fourths full. I did enjoy my flight. Me and the other background singer, we had a lovely chat. So just to be clear, everybody on this uh, trip with me is very senior to me. Of course, I'm the most junior. And I don't mean by a couple of years. I'm talking about 15 or so years, okay? So I am the baby of the crew. But um, when I arrived, guys, I was starving. DoorDash, there was nothing to order. Again, I didn't prepare for this trip, which I should have, so that's not a good thing. 
but um, I was able to take a lift I ordered the lift as soon as we landed so I timed everything to be perfect okay and went to this restaurant ate and it okay, was okay guys so I made it safely to Houston right now it's a little after 1 a.m. so guys right now I am at a restaurant and I took a lift because I am starving so right now it's kind of empty in this restaurant you guys can see um, but let me show you what I'm eating so I got turkey bacon toast scrambled egg with cheese hash browns with a lot of ketchup and country fried steak and you see pink lemonade so I'm gonna eat this food and then get to my hotel but I've been here before I was just here in Houston a couple days ago so um, it's kind of empty in here um, I heard the hotel told me that this place got really good food so again I had to take a lift I spent about $15 but here I am so guys when I get to my room I'll wrap up this vlog but yeah it goes here so stay tuned and it was a very fine sheriff there he was in the background yes very fine sheriff that was just chit chatting away with me okay but again God gave me two eyes that work just fine, okay? 2020 vision, okay? I look, but that's about it, guys. I don't partake. So now I'm here, and I was just here, so I'm not gonna do the standard room tour. I think you guys get tired of seeing that, the same hotels we go to, but yes. Now my hotel tomorrow, boo, in DC, we change hotels, so this is gonna be so bomb. I cannot wait to show you guys the room. I can't wait to be there. Because I haven't been to D.C. Uh, it's been recently, but not at this new hotel. So I'm very excited. Um, guys, I am... I'm about to end this vlog, but I do want to talk about yesterday. Since it is past 12 a.m. and today is the 21st. We know yesterday was 420. We know what 420 is about. I don't partake in that. There was a guilty verdict. And I don't want to say we all know what I'm talking about. It's a very uh, sensitive topic on YouTube. What I do want to say is something that Dr. Martin Luther King said many years ago that stands out to me. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And even though that verdict came in as guilty, it doesn't change the climate of this country. I can only tell you as an African-American woman, my walk sometimes is not so great. But I also tell myself, Jesus was perfect and yet he had troubles. So who am I? So guys, my van time is one. That's what time the shuttle's gonna come and we need to be at our gate by 125. So it's gonna be a semi-long day, two legs. But going to D.C. is uh, over three hours, guys. So we'll see what happens. But, guys, I'm signing off. Yeah, and I'll see you in a few hours, literally. So I will talk to you soon. Good night. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's date is still the same from last night. Uh, Wednesday, April 21st, and the local time right now in Houston. 12.52 p.m. So guys, one o'clock shuttle time, be at the gate, 125, well, by 125. Now today's legs, two legs guys. So it is going to be Houston to Denver, then Denver to DCA, which is Washington, DC. And there we have a 18 hour and 17 minute layover. So yeah, that's blocked at over three hours. So that's gonna be a very long flight. So I'm just gathering my things, meet my crew downstairs. I slept okay. I have a hard time. If the room is not cold, for some reason I cannot sleep. I uh, turned my air down to 60 and it didn't feel like that. So I was here the other day, so I don't know. Uh, but yes, right now, I'm gonna let y'all see. See, got my room here, my room situation. Just getting ready to leave guys and start day two. But yes, I'm gonna meet my crew downstairs. I got a few minutes. I need to wrap up this little stuff, do a personal check, make sure I got all my devices, my charger, my phone and camera, which I have in my hand, but I always wanna check to make sure I got everything, guys. So I will be with you when I'm heading down the jet bridge. So yes, good afternoon. And you guys stay tuned. We are ultimately heading to DC. 
and I can't wait to show y'all that hotel. Okay, first leg of the day. Uh, we are heading back to Denver, guys. Uh, everyone's deplaning. We're about to step on. It's going to be uh, over a two-hour flight. So we're almost full now, but we'll see the final numbers. So I'll be with you when I land in Denver. So stay tuned. All right, guys. We just arrived in Denver, and it is cold. It is beginning to snow which means when we take off to DC, we have to go to the de-icing pad. So right now the local time is four o'clock. So flight time from Houston back to Denver was two hours and 10 minutes. We are on an old A320, 180 passengers max capacity, 30 rows of seats. We were three, four full. We're also about that about the same amount going back to we're going to dc so guys right now we have a few minutes i just stepped off to use the restroom we have anytime we go to denver we have what we call aircraft appearance that cleans our aircraft and i think we are getting catered so that's what's going on but i'm about to head back on and guys i'll be with you when i get to dc because we're boarding like three minutes so stay tuned it's gonna be a long flight Okay, just arrived in DC. I'm surprised they don't have this stuff locked up. Look. You see this? People can still, anyways. Guys, we're heading to the, uh, oh yeah, this is, not that this is locked up. Heading to the, uh, our hotel. I forgot. So guys, I'll be with you when I get to this new room. So, so excited. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I finally made it to my room. So y'all, let's do this room tour, okay? All right, so when we walk in, this is what you see. This has a full kitchen, a full kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, I am losing my mind. Look at, they got dishes. Okay, this, ugh. this reminds you of your home away from home. A dishwasher here okay oh oh let me cut that off uh oh uh oh oh no 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 uh oh I messed up okay all right okay we got this to wash dishes and for the dishwasher y'all see that paper towels a beautiful sink I don't drink coffee, but they got coffee here. What else they got? Oh, they got the knives, okay. They got a real kitchen. I just feel like a kid in the candy store. What's in here? Okay, nothing's in there. Microwave, a stove, uh. Okay, does this open? Nope. Utensils. Okay, they got a couple. Oh, all right. Oh, a can opener, yes. Oh, yes, they are so serious with this. Okay, a toaster. <sighs> Refrigerator. Okay, it's empty. Oh, all right. And then, guys, let's go into the living room. So, number one, I love the chandelier right there. A little table for me to sit. A workstation area right here. You can charge your devices, have your laptop out. I think this is another table. Recycle trash. Okay, they have a beautiful little love seat here. Like this, this feels like home. Now I think this is a sofa bed. Yes, it is. It is definitely a sofa bed. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, a lamp. The TV that had my name on it. It was like welcome, Deanne. A little table. Okay, and I have. I think this is a king size bed. They got lamps on the side right here. Ooh, they sure do. Okay, this headboard is not, okay, it's not sturdy enough for me. Okay, then we go here into the bathroom. Okay, so we have a hair dryer right here. Okay, there's nothing in this drawer. Okay, pretty much nothing. We got toilet paper. And then we also got tissue. Okay, and this is what this hotel uses, Paul Mitchell. 
which I know um, he's known for hair. There's a mirror, some towels, okay. Another full length mirror. Uh -huh. Do I need to tell y'all more? Still rocking the same little outfit. All right. The closet, okay, so we have a safe, cot, iron, an iron board, hangers, and then there is the extra comforter for that sofa bed. Okay. And then we go here into the bathroom, cut on the light. All right. So I'm gonna definitely take me a shower. Okay. Yep. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, this is the, the bomb room. Like I am so in love right now, I can cry, but I'm going to keep my emotions together for you guys, but this is it. All right guys, so let's talk about the flight. Flight time from Denver to DC was two hours and 40 minutes, okay? Not that bad. But guys, I am so excited to be at this hotel. This is such a good hotel. Like, you don't understand. For a reserved flight attendant, this is one of those trips that would have got snatched. So I'm so happy that I was able to pick this up on my vacation. So I'm getting vacation pay on top of the credit hour or the credit hours for this trip. And I am staying at a bomb room, guys. So I'm very excited. Um, but yes, guys, we were... Again, on the same aircraft that we took to uh, Denver, coming back from Houston, um, three-fourths full. So guys, when I got here, I ordered DoorDash because my original plan was to go to Walmart. But we got here a little after 10 in the Walmart. Well, Walmart's around here, they close at like 11. So I would have been pushing it kind of close. So I decided to do what any irresponsible flight attendant would do who's on reserve. Even though I knew I picked it up, Anyways, yes, I got Denny, so let me show you how your girl is living right now. All right, so I got the moon, moons over hammy. Actually, it's a double moons over hammy, guys. Let me just show you this goodness here. So it is double, ooh, it's real thick. Yes, double, so I got bacon, ham, and cheese, guys. That's what I got with some french fries. I got my Gatorade here. The hotel, they gave me a bag of ice since there's no ice that's been made in the freezer. So yes, I am drinking, but that is how I'm living guys. And then look on the TV screen. I am about to watch Miss Tina Turner. Yes guys, so this hotel, free HBO, Showtime. I can log into Netflix besides the channel. So I am gonna be living life because my van time tomorrow is 4.20 p.m. So we're gonna be here for 18 hours and I do plan to enjoy the stay in DC. The last hotel I was at, we're not there no more. So I'm happy that we did an upgrade because this is a bomb room. Oh, this is gonna be a good sandwich. Yes, honey. Very good sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm starving. I haven't had anything to eat all day. I was on that plane, but mmm. Yes, I'm definitely gonna get my life tonight. So again, 18 hours in DC. Um, I might get up tomorrow. I might. Well, no, I actually, I don't have to. They serve breakfast here. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? They serve breakfast here. I was gonna go to Walmart and make me and the crew some breakfast. They may not get down with my, you know, unseasoned bland of food. Uh, you know, uh, there's like a couple of stores around this area, but guys, mm. This room is so bomb. I don't know if I'm gonna even have company. Y'all know mama's gotta have a life too, but also mama's gotta enjoy life. So I might just chill by myself like right now. Like right now, this for me is everything. Everything, okay, when I tell you guys. So I am, uh, what time is it right now? You guys, it is, ooh, 11.33 p.m. I got all kind of notifications. But yes, that's what's going on. So I talked about the flight, this room. Don't have any plans, guys. Y'all see I'm still in uniform. Like I didn't even get a chance to get out of uniform because I'm so hungry. But yes, I'm gonna end this vlog, guys. Made it to DC. I'm gonna eat this good food, sit this good Gatorade. Mm. Ooh. 
Yes, and just enjoy life. So I will be with you tomorrow, okay? Don't know what I'm gonna do. But I know one thing, boo, I am going to enjoy this layover. Because again, this is a bomb room to the point that I will come back to DC for non leisure just to hang out in this room because it's so nice. I'm gonna let you go. You guys do not want to see me eat this food, so I will talk to you later. Bye. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's day is Thursday, April 22nd. The local time right now in Washington, DC is 4.08 p.m. So 4.15 is Van Tine, one leg, Washington to Denver. This is gonna be a ooh, over a three hour flight because it's blocked in at four hours and 21 minutes. So I know we're gonna be on this aircraft for a very long time. Well, I did nothing after I uh, ended my vlog. Guys, I ate my food. I watched that Tina Turner documentary that was good. I'm so happy they had uh, HBO, Showtime, Netflix. Like they had everything here that I enjoy, um, plus cable. So I really had a good night just with myself, guys. Nobody, just me. Um, so I uh, ordered DoorDash to go. And it looks like before we leave, it's not going to get here. So I made a mistake. I just wasted $30 on getting something to eat. So I am hoping that... I get to the airport in time to possibly get something um, there as we pass by. They got like they have like these little places where you can just grab something and pay for it. So hopefully I get lucky. I don't get random. But that is what's going on, guys. I really enjoyed my stay at this new hotel. I enjoyed this trip. Again, this is all on vacation days. So I am off tomorrow on the 23rd, and then I go back on reserve um, the 24th. 25th and the 26th so we'll see if I can pick up anything because that is what I am doing um, I forgot I owe the state of Arizona and I'll just be honest with you I owe them a few thousand so I had to set up a payment arrangement guys so I'm telling you I tell you guys about my life because my parents always taught me something you can learn from other people's experiences my dad said by you being the oldest Deanne your sisters can look up to you and your brother and they can see what to do and what not to do. All right, uh, didn't take that advice very well. So when you file exempt, okay, that's withholding federal and state. So I have a payment plan with the IRS. Now I just made a payment plan with the state of Arizona. This is big because federal and state can garnish your wages and that is what I do not want. So yes, this is real. I'm only telling you guys this, don't be like me, don't file exempt if you don't qualify, okay? All those years are catching up with me, but I need to get this done because this is a chapter in my life that I need to close. But anyways, enough about the bad news. I'm gonna head downstairs and meet my crew, and guys, I'll be with you when I get to the airport. Well, going down the jet bridge. So anyways, good afternoon and stay tuned. All right, heading down the jet bridge, guys, right now to start this long flight uh, to Denver. It is cloudy out here. I was able to pick up a, a sandwich and some chips just now. That's going to have to last me for three hours and 56 minutes. That's the flight time. So, guys, uh, I'll be with you because I got to do my safety checks and pre-flight requirements. But you can see here, a little cloudy. All right, see you guys in Denver. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I am back in Denver, and the local time right now is 8.25. So guys, right now I am at Sonic, as you can see. All right, I just ordered, uh, I always get the same order, guys. I tell you all the time, I do not go chasing waterfalls. I stick to the rivers, the lakes, and the foot long quarter pounder chili cheese dog with a large fry, all natural lemonade. That's what I eat. So I got that and I decided to try something because I've been seeing this and y'all, this is the hot, what is this? Okay, it is called the Oreo Big Scoop Cookie Dough Sunday Drizzle with Hot Fudge. That's it. Let's see. Ooh! Decided to try this, y'all. Okay. Yeah. So I'm definitely eating right now. So guys, again, I worked six days in a row. 
okay? Was not playing about my vacation days. I have one day off tomorrow and then I go back on reserve. But let's talk about the flight. So I was on a A320 Space Flex, okay? This is our, so there's an old A320 and this is the newer A320. This is the aircraft that has 186 passengers, max capacity, 31 rows of seats. We were three-fourths full coming back from DC to Denver. The flight time was three hours and 36 minutes. We did arrive 20 minutes early, but I had a very good three-day trip. Again, everyone was senior on both of my uh, three-day trips, my parents, guys. I was the most junior. I chit-chatted, read magazines. Um, I read uh, the Barack Obama book. That's what I've been doing, keeping myself busy, doing what I got to do to pass time. Because three hours plus on an aircraft with this on, sometimes it's not good, but everything worked out for the better. So guys, um, I'm going to head to the crash pad right now. I just had to get something to eat. But you know, a side note, when I go to DC, I'm telling you, Chocolate City, all these men, they just be hitting me up after I left. And it's sad. I'm no longer there. And it's like, do you keep in contact with someone when you are far away? I don't know if it's even worth it because it's like 1400 miles away because I can show it, it shows me on my dating app how far we are apart. But I will say this and this might be petty. OK, I get turned off when a man does a selfie and he has his mask below his nose or he's not wearing it the right way. Like, don't have a selfie with a mask on if you're not going to wear it. I'm automatically going to swipe left because to me, if you can't keep your mask on, you're going to cheat. I know it makes no sense, but in my mind, that is a test, baby. That is a character, a test to your character. I can't trust you to wear your mask properly. You're going to cheat on me. So fellas, if you're going to take a selfie with a mask, make sure you're wearing it right over the nose and mouth, nose and mouth. See how I got mine? That's all you got to do, baby. Like seriously. I'm not playing no games. We are still in a pandemic, okay? Sorry, but not so sorry. My check should be very attractive on the 20th of May. Because again, I worked in April. It's going to reflect in May. My check should be, ooh, Shamar Moore fine. Okay, Michael B. Jordan fine. Denzel Washington fine, baby. It should be, ooh, that check should be so beautiful, guys. I might even cry. I cannot wait. You guys are a witness. I picked up my days off. You guys are going to see the hard work. It's going to definitely pay off. But guys, thank you for watching. I love you for your support. I know sometimes my content gets kind of boring and you guys want me to do something different. When it comes to my life, there is no script. Okay, every day I live my life is something new to me and I document my life and I'm transparent and I'm honest but everyone has different content and I cannot be like everybody. This is my path. You have your own path. This is my walk, okay? So with that being said, I do thank everyone who support the true Ford Explorers that reach out to me. And I do wanna give a major big shout out to the class that just graduated on the 16th. I am so happy for you guys. A shout out to you, Larry. You passed your IOE, now you are definitely with the crew and I cannot wait to fly with all of you guys if you are based in Denver. If you're based in other bases, um, might be a little hard, but guys, we're all here to support each other. If you are going to training for my airline, know that I can't tell you what's gonna happen because training has changed since I went to training. I hope you understand that. But we will pray for you. We will be here to support you. We are here as a guide, guys. I had one when I went to training. I call her my fairy flight attendant godmother. She, I would talk to her because I felt like I was going to give up. I would cry to her. She will listen to me. Everybody needs that because this is going to be a very stressful time in your life. Don't feel like you can't reach out to someone. I've been there, done that. Brandon, one, anyone you see in my airline, we all went through the same training. The difference is you guys, you're training during a pandemic, but other than that, it's stressful. We're all here to support you. And it's not about boosting my seniority. I really want you guys to live your dreams because God gave me an opportunity. I made it. That's why we're talking right now. So please don't feel like you don't have someone to support you. 
reach out guys. Again, we can't give you the answers because we don't know them honestly, but we'll be, be here for you because we're all, we're all united by our wings and we're all in this together at the end of the day. So I'll leave this vlog with that. So thank you again, guys, and I'll be with you in my next adventure. Hey, whenever I can get some flying in, you know you guys will know. So good night and take care.